unstoppable sight. With sultans and kings and with magical things from the past. A thousand one tales. A love and betrayals. With treasures of might. And carpets that fly through the air. Vagabonds, liars and beggars and tramps. Warriors, heroes and villains and champs. Histories and mysteries and magical and are yours. A thousand one thrills. Adventure and chills. A mermaid, a brook, a vizier. And genies who just might appear. Gather round children and here a thousand nights. <laughs> Those stars right there, they tell the story of Kral. Alaric grabbed Kral by the throat. He wrestled the lion to the ground as it roared and tried to devour him. Seven gigantic tigers leaped into the cave. They pounced on Alaric. He lifted them up over his head, then grabbed them by their tails and flung them around in a circle. Hundreds of wolves surrounded Alaric as he fought off 20 hyenas in a pit full of giant snakes. Gilgamesh fought the monster, swinging his mighty sword. It is another tale taken from the Shan Arme. And that's the tale of the boy who cried wolf. The Trojans wheeled the giant wooden horse into their city. I brought these back from China. They were in the basement of an old house. Hmm. I'll take them. Here. They're all yours. How much do you want for it? Well, those stories were collected from all over the world. Twenty gold coins. Twenty gold coins? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, I'll just put it away then. Wait, no! Uh, all right. Here. Can I get you something? Some tea, please. And a bowl of soup. I'll be right back. Hurry up! We're gonna be late! Uh, how do I look? <laughs> Not as good as me! Amira, we're off to the palace. Make sure you clean up the kitchen, sweep up all the floors, and dust. I still don't know why I can't go. Uh, because no prince is gonna marry a girl dressed in rags. It doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> He's gonna marry me. Uh, not if I have anything to do with that. <laughs> <sighs> My sisters. They are going to the ball without you? I don't have anything to wear. You see this book? I was just reading a story about a girl who was a lot like you. Really? She had two sisters who went off to the ball. But she had to stay behind because she didn't have a beautiful gown. But then, something magical happened. <gasps> hmm. It fits perfectly. <laughs> The palace was filled that night with young women from all over the kingdom. <laughs> so, what would you like to name the children? <laughs> Your Highness, you'll be happy to know that I'm very available. <laughs> oh, look! Who is that? The prince asked her to dance, and they were having a wonderful time when Amira's sister suddenly recognized her. Amira? <gasps> Amira knew they were going to tell the prince that she was a poor nobody.
The next day, the prince rode from house to house looking for her. To be sure, he tried the anklet on every girl he could find. But no one's ankles were small enough to fit the tiny anklet. He had finally given up all hope when he passed a small inn. <laughs> it doesn't fit either of you. I'm sorry to bother you. I'll be on my way. No, oh, uh, let me try it again. No, let me. Give it to me. I asked him first. Come give it. Give it, it up. Give it, give it up. <gasps> You! They were soon married and lived a happy life together. That was a wonderful story. Everyone should hear it. <laughs> yes. But uh, whatever happened to Amira's two sisters? I haven't read that far. <sighs> <laughs> How much further to Baghdad? <laughs> we'll be there soon. Whoa. Oh. oh, what was that? <clears throat> what is it, Dad? <laughs> it's a book. About what? I don't know. I can't read. There's some blank pages in the back, though. You can practice your drawing. Whoa! What should I draw? Whatever you like. Hey, here's an old lamp. Oh, well, we're here. Do you want to see my drawing, Dad? <laughs> now that's very good. Oh, look at this one on the other page. See? It's you. It looks just like me. Well, you wait right here, Waddy. I'm gonna get us some lunch. Genie, look what you did. Hey, you ruined it. It's not even my drawing anymore, it's yours. Here, I'll sign your name, Genie. Well, is a mighty fine drawing. You mind if I have a look? Sure. Well, <laughs> I came here to buy a book so I'd have something to read while I'm out at sea. I don't suppose you'd consider selling me this one? Huh? <gasps> you mean it? Here you go. Wow, thanks, mister. <laughs> look, Dad, I sold the book. Wow. Finding that book was good luck for us. And I bet it'll bring good luck to whoever bought it. I can't hold it, Diego! We're going to hit those rocks! <sighs> Don't worry, Diego. I'm sure we won't be stranded on this island for long. A ship will come by and rescue us. I guess they're not coming. I've kept the journal in these books, but no one will ever get to read it. It doesn't matter. Who'd want to read about a man who was shipwrecked on an island for 20 years? <laughs> Look at that. It's a book. Give you one coin for it. Ooh, I'll take it. Can I help you? Oh, just looking to buy a book for my daughter as a gift. Help yourself. <laughs> 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 
Uh, how much for this one? You can have it for three coins. Sold. Daddy, you're home! <laughs> this face? I miss this face. Did you bring me anything? I most certainly did. How's this? A book? But it's so old and beaten up. Never judge a book by its cover. Charizard, it's getting late. You should come inside. But I'm still reading. You like those stories? Mm-hmm. Daddy? Yes? I think maybe I'd like to tell stories someday. Well, maybe you will, Sharzad. Maybe you will. Mm -hmm.